We are learning new information tonight about the tragedy in San Antonio. 51 migrants now confirmed dead after being found in an overheated semi trucks trailer. KVU's Dominic Newland joins us from outside University Health Hospital in San Antonio, where survivors from that truck are currently being treated. Dominic, have you learned new information about any of the victims tonight? Brian, currently, as you said, we know the death toll in the press conference today has now risen to 51 migrants dead, 39 of those men, 12 women, and we're told some potentially are children under the age of 18 years old. Now, this has been a sad day for the community, and we're told by the coroner's office this is going to be a long process for those victims' families as they work to get victims' remains back to their home country. Now, here's what we can tell you so far, what we can confirm. Those 51 migrants that died. They're due to heat related illnesses after being found inside an abandoned semi truck last night. This has become a federal investigation with ICE's home and security taking the lead. The Homeland Security taking the lead. The San Antonio Fire Department chief said 16 people found inside the truck had been taken to local hospitals, including five to Baptist Hospital, two to Texas Vista Medical Center, and two here to University Hospital. Now, in the press conference this afternoon, the Bexar County Commissioner says she feels angry. I'm not only angry about what occurred yesterday, but my heart also mourns for the families who have lost their loved ones. The governor of the great state of Texas has once again politicized this horrific tragedy by taking to Twitter and placing the blame on others for his failures while bodies were still being removed and others being taken to local hospitals, he chose to be heartless and point the finger. And that was the Bear County Commissioner. Now, the nationalities and ages of the victims haven't been confirmed. If the incident is confirmed as having started as a smuggling attempt, it would be the deadliest such event in U.S. history. Now, three people have currently been taken into custody. We're still not known if they are absolutely connected to this incident. And right now, officials say for those worried about their victims or worried if they haven't heard from their loved ones and they could be a victim in this tragedy, right now they're being recommended to call the appropriate country consulate and that's where they can learn more information about what's going on back to you guys in the studio all right kvu's dominique newland reporting for us live in san antonio tonight dominique thank you